Hi guys, AP here. And uh, a bird told me that this thing is out on now on the Epic Store. Probably many of you would like to mod this game, right? So here's how. We're gonna download the game. We're gonna launch the game. And we're gonna wait for the game to load. Nice and easy. We're gonna skip the videos. Because I believe I know them. Okay, here. We're gonna wait for the thing to load. There you go. We're gonna press any key. Welcome to PD2, guys. A soulless game. So, here's how we're gonna fix it. Once you open the game for the first time, you're gonna be forced to accept some uh, some things. For example, sharing your data between you and uh, the game itself. Also, some uh, telemetry data and such. So, you do what you're gonna do, accept or either deny, up to you. They are free. So, now that your game is up and running, you just go and close it. You're going to go into these uh, three dots, into manage, and then on this icon here, open install location, and see here, here's where the magic happened. So I really have it open, but I'm gonna close it for now. So this is the root folder of pd It will be set where you install the game. So for me, it's in drive G, epic, and the game name, pd for you might be different, could be C, Program Files, Epic, and PD2. I don't know, I use a different path. So what you're gonna do now is open your favorite browser and you're going to go open it and go on Google and type Super BLT. I will be leave a link in the description. SuperBLT is the basically launcher for all the mods that you're gonna have on PD2. So be sure that your PC has um, the Microsoft Visual C++ 2017 32-bit. Uh, okay. If you don't have it, you need to install it. If you have questions, please, for Windows, read this thing, okay? Once you're sure that you have it, by either downloading it, it will say repair if you already have it, otherwise it will say install. Once you do that, you go and click on latest release DLL. Okay, I'm gonna save. And as you can see, and place it in your PD2 folder alongside the EXE. Doesn't mean that you have to drag and drop the zip file. It means that you have to open the file, take this beautiful .dll file and drop it in the folder. Now close the, the program that I used to extract. Could be, either be 7-zip, WinRAR, uh, Explorer you can even use. Uh, once you do that, you're gonna go back to the Epic game and launch the game. I lost Epic, nice. Epic. They close Epic Games. Wow, okay. My bad. Jeez, you can have the most powerful, most, most powerful PC in the world and Epic Games will always take five minutes to open. Unbelievable. Okay, hopefully we're good. We're gonna launch the game. Okay, you can either you can also watch the folder and see what happens to it. As soon as you launch the folder, you're gonna see the game will generate folders, mods, and other things. 
It's okay, don't worry. The game will not launch right now. Because it's generating the stuff that you need to mod the game. As you can see, BLT mods base folder is missing. Would you like to download the... Yes. The installation has finished. Please restart PD2. Right now, the, uh, the process to kill it should end itself, okay? If not, you can open the task manager, go on details, find the, the PD2 win. So you're gonna go around here till you see the PD2 win. If you have it, you end the process. Easy as that. Now we have mods enabled in PD2. If we launch the game, you will see the mods manager online. So give it a few seconds. Skip the videos. Wait for the overlay of uh, Epic. And now you can see up to date. None of your mods need updating because we don't have mods yet. So we're gonna close the game again. And this time we're gonna go to GitHub. So GitHub Redlib. This basically is a collection of files that will help you get the mod running on PD2. You wanna go and uh, either go to releases or you can just go on codes and download zip file. Save it again. Open it. And now this beautiful folder, we're gonna go into the mods folder. So mods, we're gonna take this folder and extract it over here. Now we can close this one. It should be better if we launch the game again and check if there are updates, but right now this is the latest version. Okay, now we have mods. How to put the mods in the game now? I'm gonna go to Mod Workshop. Now it's back and running. And for me, for example, I'm gonna go and choose my own mods. I will take uh, Pinky Autumn, which is a Joy skin. And also I'm gonna pick uh, custom FOV because I think uh, it's a necessary mod. As you can see, there are installation nodes too, but you can figure it out, I think. Otherwise, there will be a comment section right below each mod that I made and anyone else. So, right now, we're gonna open this mods for custom FOV. For sure, this mod goes into mods. And for uh, Pinky Joy, we're gonna go into assets, create a folder, and naming it not this one mod underscore overrides. And we're gonna drag and drop it inside. So, visual mods. For example, skin uh, changes goes into the mod overrides folder. Core mod, which allows you to modify the game, for example, adding weapons or such, they're gonna go into mods. Now we're gonna launch the game again. First, we should not see anything special. We're gonna wait for the pop up. There you go. Now, if we click here, we can see the mods. Mods are enabled. If I go to check on my Joy, 
she has uh, the new texture on. If we go to game mode option, we should see the custom FV. So I'm gonna try online. As you can see, this is my first time opening this game. I'm going to pick the diamond heist. Why not? Such a classic, right? So we're gonna go into mod option, custom of V, and yes, everything works. 175 is my favorite option for this. Your mileage might vary if you choose another one, so go ahead and enjoy. Gosh, this game. <laughs> but yeah, this is how you mod Pelly 2 on Epic Store. Or epic game, I should say. Hmm? Thank you so much for watching. Happy here. Peace out.